Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I am <laughs> finally posting actually. It's been so long, life has been kind of hectic, um, so that's why I haven't posted in a while, but it's been a while since I've done an update about being off of testosterone and I do get a lot of questions about it in my life or you know online um, I recently started using threads a lot which is sort of like the Instagram version of Twitter um, and since I've been using that and sort of posting my journey on there I've been getting a lot of the same questions that I guess I answered on my channel a while ago but I realized I haven't really given a lot of my updated perspective on these things as you can see I haven't cut my hair apparently since like the last time <laughs> I needed to get a haircut so it is insanely long at the moment and um, it's kind of wild today hence why I just have uh, a bandana on top of it. Um, other than my hair here the one thing I wanted to speak about is my facial hair. It's much lighter, oh focus, hello, hello. <laughs> So the facial hair is much lighter than it used to be, but I've actually grown it out just a little bit. I'll try and show you up close. I get quite a bit of facial hair still around this area. Um, you can see kind of how it's growing in here. I get a lot under my chin, on the bottom of my chin here. And then round to this side of my chin. For some reason, on this side of my face, I actually have like more of a sideburn growing. And I always had that when I was on testosterone as well, where I just had like more sideburn. It grew further out into here. You can see it a bit better when I don't have like direct light on my face because it is much lighter than it used to be. And this is what's left of like the main bits of hair of my mustache. You can just see here. This is what left of my moustache, here, and sort of like... And it just kind of nicely lines my jawline. Let me just check on my phone when I last shave, because it'll be sort of like in my photos. This is after about four days of not shaving. I also shave my eyebrows. You can see that in the light and at a bit more of a distance, you can't really see it too much. But in real life, I guess like on camera, it's not as good, but in real life you can definitely see it. But yeah, it's it's really soft and the issue is, is when I do shave, I because my skin has softened uh, since sort of estrogen has been back in my system, it does, I do seem to get a bit more cuts and razor burn and things and I do have to be very gentle with my skin. It's certainly one of the things that I am adapting to and getting used to and also I'm getting more used to I guess the androgyny of it and the mix of um, the mix of of my expressions because I'm not saying uh, facial hair necess necessarily has to be masculine, but for me it is something that can accentuate my masculine side, and I prefer sort of how it lines my jawline and stuff. And so even when I'm being feminine, I've actually been a bit more likely to not feel the need to shave. But mentally, I've been able to process stuff a bit better. I feel like on testosterone, I was a tiny bit cut off from my emotions, couldn't cry as easily and all that kind of stuff. That's just in my personal exper experience. And therefore, since going off testosterone, I feel like I've been able to come to terms with the fact it doesn't really matter. None of this gender stuff and how you're meant to express and what's meant to match with what. None of it matters. It's all just, <laughs> it's all just a distraction. Yeah, I've been trying to, I guess, dispel this anxiety of am I enough of a trans person, you know? Am I trying hard enough to be a trans person, to be like allowed to not be disrespected by other people? We're not here for that anymore. You are enough no matter how you express yourself, no matter how you identify, and shouldn't really need to, um, conform I guess. Sometimes some of my looks I do like to conform to more I guess um, feminine beauty standards um, and sometimes more masculine beauty standards but overall I try not to let it um, dictate me. Uh, on the topic of sort of my facial hair and my hair um, I'll t you can just see how messy my hair is. So this is what my hair kind of looks like. I do have a fringe 
Um, but today it was super messy, so I uh, basically put it under a bandana. I do have a little bit of sort of like the moving back effects um, of the hairline that testosterone did, as you can see here. And I do think I um, I have struggled with a lot of dysphoria with with that type of thing, you know, um, having my hairline specifically like that. And even when I was on testosterone and it started moving back, I did feel kind of dysphoric about it. But now I'm really trying to embrace who I am, my body and, you know, my transition. And I'm there's some photos which I can put up here where even when I'm doing feminine looks I try and have my hair out or to show that sort of hairline that I have because I still think it can be stunning and it can match feminine looks really well. Um, gnome time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh dear. So. Let me get my nipples out. Uh, <laughs> let me get my <laughs> top surgery scars out. Let's have a look at my body. So, I used to do all the biometrics, but my scales, I don't even know where they are. I don't know where the scales are that are fancy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a visual look. You see this? Hello? Yay, so I, I haven't actually worked out since being on testosterone. Um, so this could be interesting, but let's just have a look at the comparison of me sort of like at my peak, what I would call my peak masculine form when I was like dench and working out and compare it to me now. I always do, you, might, you guys might have noticed this, it's my euphoria stance. I always do this stance in every photo. I don't know if anyone knows it, I've never mentioned it. I've actually never mentioned it until recently I looked through all of my mask photos and some photos that I took of like me standing, especially when I was muscular, and every one I'm like, <sighs> tensing so hard. When it comes to my chest hair, let's lower the lights a bit so my camera can pick it up. I do still have some. It, it looks a bit better in person. You can't see it too much, but um, you know, uh, it still is there um, and I do still have some. Ah, I nearly fell over and died. <laughs> I could obviously rock in the pit hair because let's go pit hair. Um, come back for the win. Yeah, my sort of like, I don't really have too many like back muscles left, I guess, since I've been on testosterone. But one thing I would say is that there is definitely some sort of slight um, feminization. Uh, I'd say I have a bit more fat on my hips, just a little bit, like literally not even that much of a change. And possibly on my butt, like fat wise, but I used to have, when I was on testosterone, I was actually working out a lot. So I used to actually have more muscle mass. So these regions and also my glutes were bigger anyway. Um, so really, I don't think my physical form has feminized too much, you know, in a way that I would feel dysphoric and I think I could work out and increase my muscle mass which is what I'm going to try and do on the channel soon. Um, I do feel like yeah maybe you know like you can see I always have quite um quite a tiny waist but I've kind of always had that. I can do some measurements I guess. Live measurement moment. Where's my measuring tape? Also when it comes to my chest this is my surgery scars. Oh my God, how long has it been? Um, I had top surgery when I was 19 and I'm about to turn 25. So almost six years ago at this point. Um, so yeah, same with starting testosterone and stuff. These are my top surgery scars about six years after. They're looking good. I did have like a little bit of flesh left in here and he, he said he could take it out, but it would join the scars and I didn't want that. So I'm here for my sort of like, my sort of pec cleavage, we love it. Um, and also I still have uh, that line of definition from when I worked out. So if you want that type of look, I would recommend just doing 
like a workout. I never really had that line before. I actually started like working out and then it just stayed, you know, like even when I went off testosterone and stuff. And I still have moderately broad shoulders compared to like my body, so it still works with like masculinity. The reason I say this is for people who maybe are trans mask or trans men who who are thinking about going off testosterone but are wondering if you can still pass as masculine or a man. I think so. So in 2021, my waist was 26.9 inches in circumference. So let's have a look what it is now. So my waist here is 25. So I've definitely um, probably lost some weight because at the time I think I was kind of, I had bulked. So I had a lot more mass on me at the moment. I haven't been bulking or anything. I've just been chilling and, you know, being lazy, so. This is really difficult. My shoulder width is difficult to do when I'm doing it on myself. 18 and a half to 19 inches, and it was approximately 19 inches width when I was on testosterone at the time. Let's say I'm about 18 now, so I think I've lost a bit because I've literally not been working out, but my shoulders have still stayed kind of broad, which is cool. Um, my buttocks. My butt was 36 inches circumference when I was on testosterone uh, and working out. I'll add that in and now it's 35.5 so it's gone down a bit because I guess I've lost some muscle mass. My hips just under 33 inches circumference and they were 32.5 so they've definitely got a bit bigger but nothing too crazy. And we're not going to me measure all of my sort of muscles and things because I have stopped working out. Um, and that would be sort of the reason, I guess, why my muscles would have decreased. So I'm not going to bother with that. Speaking of muscles, though, I am going to do a fitness series. I really want to get into martial arts. Um, honestly, because the world is crazy for trans people right now, we need to know how to protect ourselves. <laughs> and so, and I want to get really fit and dench like I used to be. If anyone followed me when I was a, a gym lad, trans man, <laughs> Welcome back, because because he's coming back, but in a more they them form. <laughs> so I guess the one thing to talk about now is my voice. I my, I definitely pass on the phone, and when people don't see me, or if I'm not femininely presenting, if I'm like even slightly wearing masculine clothes, I can pass as a guy if I want to. Um, on the phone, 100% I pass as a guy. My nan is kind of hard of hearing, and I had to speak to a doctor on the phone recently, and they always say like, oh, you're her grandson, are you? Um, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> Sure, <laughs> is my answer, okay. And also when I'm femininely presenting and I speak, you can tell that there, people are a bit taken aback sometimes about how deep my voice is. Um, and I even did a little on threads, go follow me over there, same mixed morphling. Um, I actually did a sort of like voice um, test just to show the people my voice and say what do you think of it and I, it ranged from being very androgynous to kind of sounding like a queer man or sort of flamboyant slightly flamboyant masculine voice type thing and i do have a i do think going off testosterone has heightened my range nothing has changed i think too much since the last video but it really has made my voice a bit more androgynous so you know the classic meme that i used to do where I used to go, I want to be a real boy. I'm going to do it again because I think it's so funny. Back then, when I used to do it, I look so strained. Like, my face looks like I'm in pain when I do this. But let's go. Let's have a comparison of my voice going on testosterone and going back off of it. Hey there, it's Toby slash Laddie. I'm one day on tea and I wanna be a real boy. I'm one year on tea and I wanna be a real boy. I'm two years on testosterone and I wanna be a real boy. I'm three years on testosterone and I wanna be a real boy. Hey there, I'm Toby. I'm two years off tea and I wanna be a real boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm like getting it sang that shit. I'm not gonna lie, I actually ate. <laughs> I wanna be a real boy. <laughs> I can like speak kinda deep, probably not as deep as I could on testosterone, but if I really wanna speak deeply, I know how to actually like harness that part of my voice and I have the ability. But I can also do, this is my usual talking tone. I can't speak very 
very high if I wanted to. It does kind of break, but ah, I can certainly like sing high notes. <laughs> I look like a crazy person, but whatever, we're just testing out. It's for science, people. It's for science. Well, we've gone through it together, and thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for waiting, if you've been waiting for a video to come out. My next video, though, is creative. It's kind of like off topic of my usual trans stuff. I'm designing a fantasy outfit, and then a few months after that, I'm gonna be making it and posting the video. And I've got some really cool, like, trans deep dives. And also, I wanna start doing reacts again. I used to do laddie reacts, where I would when my name was Call Me Laddie on YouTube, I used to do reactions to videos and things, and that was so funny. And honestly, I kind of want to react to transphobes because they're so weird. And like, it's getting to the point where it's just, it's not cool, but it's funny to me. Because I'm like, you're wasting your life <laughs> being dumb. And um, some of the videos I watch, I just, I just can't help but laugh at these people. Not cool what they're doing you know, big up my community and screw them for trotting down on my people. But um, yeah, it, they're kind of funny also. So if you have any videos like that or just general videos you want me to react to, please put them in the comment down below and also like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions, anything that I haven't answered in this video in particular. For example, this being my neck hasn't gone away. I still have a rather like it's definitely thinned down. <gasps> Ooh. If you stayed this late in the video, you get the neck measurement. <laughs> so about 12.8 or something. What was my neck measurement before? 14. Yeah, that's probably also because I was working out, but um, yeah, but I still have this which is a bit more prominent. I don't think it's like fully an Adam's apple because it's not like the way that I've seen it before, but I don't know, this is somehow masculine to me and I kind of love it. Um, I recently did a photo shoot as well on Thread, so follow me over there. Um, where I did sort of like a vintage style photo shoot and I did a shirtless photo shoot because uh, let's go only for my Lays and slays on the internet. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the flip side Totally awesome <laughs> I'm so excited to get crocheting in fact below this video whoa in fact, below this video as we speak, I am doing some crocheting. <laughs> so that and more, and there's artwork in the next video. I'm so excited. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> Love you all. Yay.